Today on Maker Mackie, we're going to make this cot house extension. Alright, so I picked up these boards from the um, local hardware store and I'm going to run them through the table saw. Now this is only a measure that I need to take because they are wider than I need them to be and we want them to match the the width of the uh, boards on the actual um, cot. So I'm going to run them through the table saw and then cut them to length. At the top I'm going to actually overlap them in a butt joint so what I need to do is work out how wide I need the bottom uh, to be which is the, the width of the cot and then I can lay out my boards I'm actually going to cut the 45 degree first, then lay out my boards on the 75 centimeters that I've marked out, and then I can mark off where I want, need to cut it to length, and then cut a 90 on the end. I'll cut one of the boards first, and I'm keeping in mind of which way it's actually going to go on the cot, so that from the front, you won't actually see any joints or anything like that. So I've got these cut with a 45 degree angle on one end and I've also marked out here the width of the cot. So if I put this on this corner here and then get another one and butt it up next to it, making it go to the, the line that I've put for the width of the cot, making sure that it's square. And then I'll trim that and then I can trim the other one once that's finished. As you can see, I've now got the two angles cut, one for each end of the cot, and I also cut the, the parts that go here for the height. Now, I know what you're thinking, Adam, I saw you cut a piece of, uh, I saw you cut a length of the board on the table saw that's thinner than the rest. Now, the reason I've done this is so that when I butt it up against this one for the the brace that goes across the top it's the same length in this direction as it is in this direction now i'm going to glue and screw everything together and i'm going to do that with pocket holes okay so i've run into an issue that i didn't think about and that is that when you cut a 45 degree angle this is actually wider than the width of the wood so that when you butt them up together there's an overhang so you're playing around with a couple of scraps the best idea I've come up with is to actually sand this uh, length here down so that it's the right width and I want it to stretch out as long as possible so it's very subtle that this part is actually thinner than up here and you won't actually see it from a distance or pretty much close up either. It doesn't look that bad there but I'll also make sure it goes uh, a lot more shallower of a cut.
that's it for this video. The last thing I need to do is attach these little white uh, screw caps and the entire thing is done. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie. Now, normally I would ask you to like and subscribe, but I'm not gonna do that today. Instead, I'll ask if you liked this video, be sure to share it on social media so other people can enjoy it as well. And you can follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll have links to those down below. Be sure to tag me if you do share this video, and I'll see you next time.